get to see our friend Haley Page from Price Cutter, and she's brought along our friend David Bell from Bell's Marketing. <laughs> it's so good to see you both. Good to see Hello. you. Hello. Okay. Good to be back. So, Miss Haley Page, you're, we're talking local today, but you brought him along because because he does all these local dist uh, distributes all these local products. Amazing. All of them. Isn't okay. that crazy? That's so many. And this is just kind of a sample from everybody. It's not nearly everything we oh, yeah. provide in the stores. Which is so awesome because a lot of people have contacted me saying, I had no idea you had so many great local products mm -hmm. until you started showing them on the show. Sure. Mm -hmm. And now they can help support local businesses, which is amazing. And they're all in Price Cutter. Price Cutter. And Ooh. Country Mart, too. And Country Mart. Yes. Country Mart. Yes. 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 Okay, do you want to start down here? Let's start down here, yeah. kind of go through what we have locally. Okay. Um, down at the very end, we've got the Hammonds products, which the uh, Black Walnut guru of the entire country, basically, oh, yeah. but they're based in Stockton, Missouri. And then this is an oil that they use, uh, that they make for you to use for cooking. So straight By the way, we've oil. been to their uh, plant, and we've mm. got to see them make them, and it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. Um, Kabosh is a keto company. They do the keto crusts as well, but oh, I brought the, uh, the, these are the pecans today, the keto candy pecans. Oh. Those are, uh, they're sweet, and then sweet with a kick. Where do you find this at Price Cutter? Because I need these in my life. Um, <laughs> they're either in the nut <laughs> aisle, or they're in, like in, Rubies, they're in that section. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I'm getting these because I do keto, I do low carb. Yeah. But that's amazing. Yeah, everything they do is low carb. Uh, moving forward to pistachios out of St. Louis area. Mm -hmm. That's the wood fire roasted pistachios. Very unique. Once you try them, you're hooked. So they're amazing. Yeah, yeah. they're awesome. We had, I think we've had them on the show as well because I couldn't get over that taste, that smoke oh, taste. Oh my goodness. Oh. Um, now the sriracha grenada and the fallout. It's a green chili product. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, owned by a company called Gateway Provisions. And that's out of St. Louis. So it's a salt, green chili salsa. There was a shortage of regular salsa for a while, so a lot of people got to try it because we didn't not provide. What's crazy <laughs> is on TV, yeah. you can't tell that's green because I'm looking at that mantra going, yeah. it looks dark, but this is like a green. Yeah, it's green chili instead of red. Right, so, that looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And then Two Men in the Garden, there's the Salsa and Pickle guys. Mm. And uh, they have actually picked up this. They were co-packing for a while, and now they're Real, they're in charge of this float trip pickles, which is wow. out of Springfield. Oh, I saw it says float trip pickles. I was uh -huh. like, I heard of that. Uh huh. Yeah, they're I out of, originally out of Springfield, and I put them together to co-pack, and then now they're going to be taking over full production. Ooh. Makes my mouth. I know. <laughs> me too. Just give me two. Say Wait, are these the jalapenos? <laughs> yeah, pickles and jalapenos, and then, oh. then straight jalapenos below, and it's a sweet oh. heat as well. Mm. On those. I love those so much. <laughs> Barbecue Madman out of St. Louis as well. He does sauces and rubs. This is a pineapple uh, habanero, so it's a hot one. Mm -hmm. And then this is the uh, famous dry rub, one of many he does. Look at that. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm all about rubs and seasoning, so I'm always trying to some, something new. Um, the two beef stick companies are up front there. This is Salmon Enterprises out of Appleton City, and then this is Premium Protein out of Crane mm -hmm. Productions in Springfield. They've been on. They've yeah. been on the show. We love them. Sure. Yeah. That. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're Remember? so good. They're yeah, good. they're very, very active in, in advertising and. David, can I just that. say what yeah. I'm loving so far about this is you're talking about these local companies, mm -hmm. and I love that we've had them on to experience the owners. Oh yeah. And and talking see the farmer. Oh, yes, yeah. you're putting a face to the product, yeah. and you see the people oh, you're totally supporting. My idea, so. It's totally David. <laughs> <laughs> you're smart. Yeah. I'm smart. Uh, walrus oil. No, not actually walrus. Is just the name. But this is a company uh, originally out of Nixon, now out of Ozark. I'm sorry. And no, they, that's okay. They, uh, they make skincare products and wood finishes David, as well. They've been on the show too. I got a hat. Yep. <laughs> I love my hat. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, and then this is just enough heat. I distribute that through Daniel here to its left. This is a, a honey mustard line. That's the mm. ghost pepper one, so it's really <gasps> And then they've got a bacon and a smoked, jalapeno, smoked jalapeno. This, producer Jake and I would love this. We love, I used to grow ghost peppers in my garden. Oh my goodness, I can't do it. I can't even smell I have them. to mix it with something. <laughs> smelling them makes me cry. Yeah, I'm serious. Um, okay, there we go. This is Daniel's uh, original KC barbecue sauce. He does a couple of those. He does a couple of rubs, and then he also does these candy Ooh. jalapenos here. Oh, oh my gosh, I love heat candy is the thing, isn't it? You know, a lot of a lot of heat here. <laughs> yeah. We're moving on to the more heat. Are you sensing a trend? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting hotter as we go. Um, crippling is an interesting story behind it. It's a young man, 17 years old, has cerebral palsy that started this company, oh. and uh, he's being been in front of Congress talking about his oh. idea. And five percent of the sales of this company go to cerebral palsy research, research? and we've. <laughs> That's just awesome. started putting these, these are all the new guys. We're just now adding them slowly to the price cutter stores. Now that I have this, I'm going to take a picture of this. My nephew has cerebral palsy. Okay. So oh, now that yeah. I know this, that's all I'm going to buy yeah, right his now. His name is Drew. Drew? Drew is oh, yeah. love Drew. Um, and then another newbie is we picked up an energy shot company out of St. Louis called Gunnett. Mm -hmm. They have multiple flavors. I brought two today. I brought the fruit punch and the grape. Those are going to start showing up in price cutters as well. Oh, nice. Good price point on those too. 
And then the funny ones, the goose poop and duck butter. <laughs> Dear Lord above, yeah. what is that all about? Is the word poop on there? Does it, it need is. to be? Oh it is my on gosh, there. My, oh, yeah. no. my boys would yeah. just die. You need <laughs> oh, we think the novelty's gonna sell it, but it's a great, it's a great product. What, yeah. what are they? There's a relish, and then this is just a spread. It's a life's delicious, eat it up. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh. I'm Unique blend of that. sweet mustard and horseradish. Yeah, and it's so flocking good. Yeah, okay, we're gonna oh leave it right gosh. there. The marketing no. on that. No slip of the tongue on this one. Okay, and then moving right. on. Right. Uh, the uh, Camacho Coffee Company out of Columbia, Missouri. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, they do bags of, of ground. They do straight beans too, but in mm -hmm. town here, we just distribute the, the ground and then the K-Cups. Perfect. Okay, yeah. before we run out of time, we gotta get to this, because I want this whole yeah. pickling yeah. situation. Yeah. The pickly patches from Two Men in the Garden, we are gonna demonstrate how easy they are to do today. You're okay. gonna be able to pickle yourself. Okay. Uh, right at home in your own fridge. Now, purists may not like it, but for those of us who don't know what we're doing, it's so That's easy. Yeah. Anyway, you just open up your pouch here, and you add your vegetables. I love anything pickled, I'll be honest yeah. with you. Well, except pickled for a pickled onions. egg. I'm not a fan of pickled eggs. I've never really had one, but I, I see them in the you jar. You probably, somebody, the owner, <laughs> Ew. the owner Floating company, around. The owner told us to put a turkey, piece of turkey breast in. So we didn't do that. We oh, thought, yeah. I would we, try that though. But yeah, I mean, it's it's an idea. You can anything you want to pickle, you know. But anyway, just just to give you an idea, we yeah. won't go through the whole situation. And then you're going to add a third cup of vinegar. The instructions are right on the back. Oh, perfect. So we'll add a third. Oh, very clear. clear. The yeah, pickling there we go. salt and, and yeah. all the things you need in the bag. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we just add a third cup of vinegar to it. When I smell vinegar, though, I think of Easter eggs. I don't know why. Yeah. Anybody else think of that yep. from their childhood? I do. I assume you have to let it set for a while. You do. Right? And that's okay. why we have a finished product with the magic. Can I close over. this up then? And we're going to do some water. Oh, water, sorry. Water. Look, okay. I was jumping the gun. It's okay. And, and then, then you just go. add water over the top. So you just cover the vegetables with the water. And then you're good. Oh, easy. Uh -huh. Then you seal it up. And yeah. then. For, if I did that right, shake, shake it. it. Shake, Ooh. shake, shake. <laughs> And then <laughs> put it in your refrigerator for three days. Three and days. every day, reach in there and give it a shake. Give it a shake. Just nice. Like that. And then by the third day. It's time to shake wow. my pickles. <laughs> that is a new dance trend coming to TikTok. Shaker. Shaking pickles. It ended up being a dance. That's so fun. <laughs> it's so a dance. Oh. oh. Sorry. There we go. Well, that's okay. It's still going to be good. Right. Oh my gosh, look oh. at that. This is oh, the finished right. product. Veggies in there, huh? can, I, can I get a fork for us? Yes, please. Get a fork for you guys. Okay. This is the sweet oh, heat that I'm, because Jeremy said. I love sweet, well Jessica love loves it too. Yeah. Okay, All right. let's put it over show here. That to him. We're gonna show this right here, okay, yeah. dig in. I'm going for an actual, yeah. Yeah, I'm going for this. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I like how even the liquid is so colorful. Mm-hmm. Mm. And all over the floor. That is so That's good. Yeah. Like oh my really gosh. Snack. It is, and it's very good for you. There, sure. yeah, there's veggies. not a lot of Look sodium in there, It's it's just, and, and you mentioned liking keto a lot. No mm. carbs, low carb in that too. By the way, a little bit of sugar. This is the only way to eat radishes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not <laughs> really good. Yeah. Wow. That way was good. It's not so great. Yeah. No yeah, the radishes are amazing. Cool. I'm yeah. sorry. Do you want to get in there? Okay. Yeah. I get a carrot. Guys, David, yeah. Haley Page, thank you so much. Check out all the amazing uh -huh. local products at Price Cutter and Country Mart. And if you pickle something, send us a picture. We'd like to see it. Yeah. I'm going to be doing this this That'd week. Be great. Don't go anywhere. So much more fun on those Xbox AM right after this. That is so good.